Hello, everyone. Welcome to Yuki Shishido's Positive Radio, a membership exclusive program for those who enjoy eBay. Today, we're going to answer a question received from our members. The question for today is What was your biggest mistake on eBay? Well, there have been many mistakes, but the biggest one was getting our account suspended for selling adult Dujinshi fan made comics. For those who might not know, I initially worked at an anime shop and started eBay as a side hustle. About six months into it, I decided to go full-time. I planned to recruit two staff members to join me in this venture, but I ended up only being able to recruit one. So, there we were, two of us, having quit our jobs to focus solely on eBay. It was at this point, as we decided to ramp up our efforts to earn more, that we chose to sell explicit to Jinchi. In my mind, America was a country without censorship, as you might know. Having imported DVDs from the States, I was deeply impressed by its openness and freedom. So, with that in mind, we decided to sell adult to Jinchi, thinking it would be well received. Back then, eBay had an adult category, but we completely ignored it and listed our items under, I think, the collectibles category. Oh, no, it was the Dragon Ball category featuring Krillin and Android 18, among others. We listed some very explicit Dijinshi of those two, as well as other items from Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, etc. We had bought these Dijinshi in bulk, quite cheaply, and decided to list them all. The most explicit among them was the Krillin and Android 18 Dijinshi, for which we took photos of the most explicit scenes for the listing images. Back in Japan, about 16 years ago, there was hardly any market for Dragon Ball Dijinshi, so we decided to auction them off. Previously, we had sold adult Dijinshi without showing explicit scenes, but now, going full-time, we decided to go all-in. We thought it would be better for buyers to see what's inside, so we took a page out of the bookstore's playbook, where they would copy a page from the Dijinshi and display it outside the packaging. We did the same, choosing the most explicit scene for our main image. Bids came in quickly. We thought we were onto something and went to sleep, only to wake up and find all our listings removed and an email saying we could no longer list items. We had about 100 auctions cancelled, and I just went back to bed, frustrated. That experience taught us the hard way about the limits of what's considered freedom in America, which wasn't what I had imagined. Since then, we've been shipping without tracking, inspired by the way I was treated when importing adult DVDs into Japan. The sellers would offer to resend the item if it didn't arrive, a practice I admired and adopted. This story about importing adult DVDs is a first-time share, so please keep it between us. That's all for today's Positive Radio. Keep enjoying eBay, and thank you for tuning in. This was Yuki Shishido.